Croak. What on earth was that? <laughs> this is fun. She's up there, so I'll have to maneuver my way around the trees and stuff. Aha! Oh. There you go. Last time it was the Wicked Pumpkin. We played through the story of a witch. That's the entrance. Oh, it's the early entrance. Yeah. <clears throat> Sorry about that. Got a bit, a bit of a cold. Last time we played w the Wicked Pumpkin, which is like a witch. She turned herself into a pumpkin. And they got eaten by the farmers that chased her. Alright. <coughs> Ooh, Toby, sorry. It's a uh, cold going around. Night of the Missing Pet Zombie loved his cat. He called her Emmy, and they went on all sorts of trips together. They went running by the river, climbing over rocks, and lazing under trees. But the most fun was when they terrorized the local villagers of Wheatburn. Emmy would learn around corners with her soft meow where zombie would be waiting to scare them but now those times were over after their scare trips zombie would be tired but emmy was always still full of energy so she would venture out into the wild on her own sometimes she wouldn't be back for days but this time it was much longer wow after a week zombie went out searching and he found her by the riverside bruised and broken the villagers had taken their revenge on his cat emmy Aww. zombie was stricken with grief and hate his friend the mad scientist tried to comfort him but zombie couldn't shake it the villagers need to pay but they would wait first emmy needed to be buried zombie took her body to the local graveyard where he began to dig hard and fast he didn't look up until he was surrounded by the dirt walls of the grave. When it was deep enough, he climbed out to get Emmy, but she was missing. Huh? He looked everywhere, but he couldn't find her. The only person who knew he was burying her tonight was himself and his friend, the mad scientist. Zombie looked up at his friend's castle. The lights were on in the windows, the strange contraptions working their green smoke. Maybe. The mad scientist wasn't his friend after all. But what? Oh, that's mean. Yeah, let's do this. Ah, damn it. Shit. Getting closer. Shit. What the fuck? That's it. Fucking hell, this music. Aha! Oh, thank God. It's floating popcorn. So scary. Ooh. Hmm. All right, let's continue. 
Ombi quickly ran up to the castle and burst through the door. Mad scientist, he yelled. Where is my cat? He raced through hallways of armored knights, shiny swords and crest shields, but he couldn't find the mad scientist's laboratory. Zombie would get lost in this castle before he found Emmy, but it didn't matter. He had to do it. He had to avenge her. He burst through door after door, pushing over armor stands and decorations through the castle. Destruction and rubble followed in Zombie's wake. He would level this castle to the ground if it meant finding Emmy, but he didn't have to. He turned a corner and saw the telltale green hue of his old friend's experiments. A tall iron door with metal grates stood in his way. I'm coming, Emmy, Zombie said, Aww. and he pushed the door open. Ah, shit, so close. So that back one's the key. Ah, fuck. Damn it. How am I not moving? Why am I not moving? Something I need to do. Slime blocks. I just get to those slime blocks and I can. No, I could. Just make it to my way to the slime blocks and I can make it. Uh. <laughs> Fuck. Damn it. You're such good focus as well. Oh, fuck it all. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, 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 yes. Are you <laughs> ah! That's my fault. Should I crouch just then? Okay, bounce. That's again, that's again, that's again. I'm crouch. Ah, there we go. Hmm. 
Ugh. Let's go all the way around. Oh no. I don't have to go all the way around. I have to go down the fucking bottom. Yep, there's no way I was making that. Okay. Make it that side block. Okay, 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 okay. Yes. I will go down the middle. Okay. Okay. Uh, okay. Okay. So this way as well again. This way. I mean, I can make it from this height. Oh, there we go, finally. Oh, a bit of lag there. Okay. Block number three. The mad scientist's laboratory was just as difficult to navigate as the castle. Bottles and jars of strange green liquids sat on shelves and desks. Otherworldly tendrils poked out of walls and mechanical spiders with human heads skittered Ew. across the floor. Zombie would destroy all of it if Emmy was harmed. Every last bottle and tube, every table and chair. Zombie would even tear down the stone walls. And the mad scientist himself? He would rip him apart like paper, shred him to pieces. Wow. First those villagers killed his cat, and now his only friend stole her from him? No. Zombie would not stand for this. He ran through the laboratory, knocking things over as he went, the mechanical whirs of the mad scientist's machines droning in the distance. No doubt he was already performing experiments on Emmy, experiments that he was going to stop. The droning became louder. Zombie was getting closer. He heard a laughter coming from behind a door frame. He rushed to the door, and what he saw made his jaw drop. In the center of the room was Emmy, hooked up to a machine, alive and purring, a greenish tint to her fur. Ow. Okay. There's that entrance, that entrance. Just those two, okay. I'll try this back one first. Ah, shit. Shit, 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 ah. Oh. Fuck! Let's go back, and then... Okay. I'll make it into that bottle. Okay. I got it, I got it. Ow. Okay. Ow. Uh. 
Am I supposed to get down to that part? Okay, so I can survive that jump. Okay. Can I survive this one? Yes, I can survive that jump as well. Okay, I don't think I can survive that jump, because that's a bit too far. Ah, over here. Don't want to fall. I'll be pissed. I'll be very pissed. Oh, ho, ho, ho. that spooks me. Uh, where do I go from here? Hmm. Okay, that's creepy. Sound has got some sort of mad, scary face in his wall. Ah, so I jump over to this one. Ah, yes. Okay. Let me get down here. Okay. Ah. So now I just jump over to those slime blocks. Hopefully, keep able to make it in time. Yes, yes, I bet. Ah, thank God. Okay. Down to this one right here. Okay. Aha, uh -huh, I see you, sneaky little fucker. Ah, you shithead. Ah. Okay, at least I know the path to go. I know what's safe and what's not safe to go. Okay. Ah, fucking hell. Okay, okay. Okay, I got it, I got it. I think I, I think I can make this jump. Yes, yes, alright, that's a, that's a safe one. I can make that jump. Okay. Oh, fuck, I got sweaty hands. Okay. Uh, I can pick it this one. I can. Ooh. Okay. Just got drop. Ah, yes. Now how do I get to that little shit in there? Ah, got ya. <laughs> I'll get out of this. Oh, here we are, lads. <gasps> Amy, no! My beautiful little kitty kid. Ow. Still adorable. Okay. The following nights, the villagers of Wheatburn knew no rest. Emmy let out blood-curdling shrieks into the night, and Zombie chased down any villager trying to find the noise. Even when she went alone, Zombie wasn't worried. Emmy was invincible now. She was a zombie, Ooh. just like him. Very nice. 
Now to the missing pet complete. Thanks for playing the drop off hours. Bonus credits. Drop has been unlocked in the entrance of the theatre. Oh. That's the entrance of the theatre then. This was an awesome map, I loved it. It was brilliant. Awesome dropper map. Absolutely awesome. Go to the credits tile. Okay. Nog's crew. Hmm. So this one right here. I got jump boost. That was awesome. Knock screw you out, done yourselves, so lads and ladies. I don't know what. So. That was awesome. You guys really outdid yourself. That was brilliant. Alright. I can't. Is that my car out there? Oh, I swear I got a big ass car. Oh. You guys outdone yourself with this drop of map. This is awesome. Looks cool. You guys are awesome. Okay. That's a zombie one. Oh, I got quite a few. Well then, let's go back to the credit room and then I'll finish off there. Yeah, right, that's, that's it for now. Awesome job by Nox Crew. I love your guys' maps, these are brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. Love these, oh, let me just take off my 3D glasses. Ah, much better. Absolutely brilliant. I'll see you guys next time. Bye bye.